What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Behind me, the 24H motor grader. Today, we're gonna be pulling the draw bar and circle off of this machine. The last video, you saw us pull the mold board, but today, we're pulling the rest of that whole assembly out of this tractor. And we're gonna do it hopefully kinder than last time. Hopefully no heavy pulling and ripping, but we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna go ahead, we're gonna write a list down just to make sure that we have an SOP of how we're gonna do this. Okay, first things first. Safety. Always number one, safety. Two. Okay, I think we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna pull all the grease lines. Grease lines. Because our goal is to keep the tractor running as long as possible. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull the grease lines, then hydraulic lines. To the circle boxes. I'll go show you guys those right now. So thankfully, the way Cat set this machine up, there isn't a whole lot of hydraulics on this assembly right here, but right here is one circle box, and right here is another one that's hiding underneath this grease pump. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna disconnect all the hydraulic lines to these two units right here and cap them off, and we're gonna pull these grease lines right here. So these are all the grease lines that go to your main diverter valve right here, which basically lubes up the whole tractor. So we're gonna go ahead, get all that removed, and theoretically, we should still have a running tractor. So that way, once we're done with this, we can move this out of the way and get onto other projects. We need to add one more, one more thing to the list. Don't die. If you do die, pull body off property perfect now we're good to go yep. okay <laughs> every one of these gotta go no yeah no. they all go in here but they're okay 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 so these are the hydraulics that supply in here these two right here that split off of here are hydraulics that feed the the um that's what makes this pump the grease right the hydraulic I think those are actual grease fittings but we'll find out when we pull them off Okay, because then they tee into these, which go up to the hydraulic section. Okay. So that's the only reason it makes me think this is a supply of hydraulic to push the grease. But I don't know. I don't know a lot about the grease systems. I think that's a big grease line. Okay. Because I think the pump is back there. And it pumps it to there. Oh, the grease all the way up there? Well, tell me that. Where's your grease, where's, where's your grease cam? Right there. That's not a grease cam. That's a circle. Never mind. That's a grease can. And then that pumps the grease yes. up to here, yep. which then feeds all these. Yep. That's what I thought. So we need to pull. We need to pull all these lines up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those lines are what split it. These lines are for steering, so we don't touch those. Yeah. Um, That's pretty much basic, it. Yeah, just those big group of lines right there. Yeah. And then, uh, we, and then a couple of the other little ones off, and we're gonna be dialed. Yep. Yeah, good thing I need a yeah. 13 16s. Oh. Yeah, right? Absolutely. Nothing to see here. Oh, that's great. Oh, you should have seen how many times I hit my head last night. I was starting to make it job out of it. Make a career out of smashing my face and the stuff last night. Oh, you didn't start my leap. That's always good news. Are, what are they leaking? Hydraulic. Grease fluid. or hydraulic? Hydraulic. Perfect. Do we need a big bucket? We should probably get a bucket. Okay. Oh, that's a big mess. Hello. Now, is this going to piss everywhere? Nah, no pressure. Okay, there's one. Do you see her oozing out of there? Oh, come on. We call that stored energy. Yes. You have to be very careful with stored energy. It will hurt you. Got the icon wrenches here. Bought these from Harbor Freight. 
They're actually pretty nice. I've had them for a while. If I can get the right size one though, that'd be real nice. The old double wrench action. Oh, come on. Pain in the ass. Okay, well. I think all the sheeting's gonna have to come off of here. That blows. I don't wanna pull the sheeting off. Maybe I can get it this way. I think Hercules put this last hose on. Got it. Boink. Nailed it. Yeah. Two lines. Try and get them in there. Yeah. Now. Tell you what, the, Phil, what do you think of those Icon wrenches from Harbor Freight? Actually, they're pretty good. All you have to do is grab the right size for what you're working Oh, there's pressure on this one. Okay, on which one? This one right here. That's why I always check. Did we see anything move? That Shouldn't, it's, it, it's, gra everything's grounded. Okay. That's why I grounded the yeah. mold, I grounded that. I see. Yeah. Another safety thing right here. Really I bad. made sure that we grounded this thing all the way down and released most of the hydraulic pressure just in case we we unhook something that has to do with the lift cylinders, but uh, we should be all good. Yeah, no pressure here. Did you want me to start actually removing the grease lines up here? Just nope, you don't even gotta mess with those. Okay. I have hydraulic fluid running down my arm. That feels great. Okay. I mean, they're gonna have to come off anyway, don't they? Uh, let's see, we got these big guys now. Some big old wrenches. <laughs> you need the old metric presser in? Yes. Hey, you can unscrew that by hand now. Yeah. Make sure there's no pressure. Oh, yeah, it's grease. Okay. okay. Easy, easy, easy. I already okay. believe the pressure on this side. All right, so we have all of the hydraulic lines all taken off here. All the grease lines have been removed. We do have this electric line that's, that's just a simple harness that we're going to unclick here. Uh, all these bolts are broken loose. This is what holds the drawbar assembly to the mainframe of the tractor. Now, we're working on getting our uh, angle cylinder taken care of, and we're going to get these lift cylinders unhooked. Once we get that done, uh, hopefully we'll be pulling this thing out. Big job, big parts, but everything's going smoothly so far. You haven't died yet, right? Nope. nope no, he, I'm no. not out at the street. Nope, he's still he's still alive. I'm so. still here. Okay. Just still, checking. Still out on the front. Okay. Well, let's go ahead. We'll get the forklift and place it underneath here. We'll, we'll get the big uh, 20,000 pound forklift, put it underneath the draw bar, and then uh, probably just start lifting up and see if we can get it shake, uh, shook and loose. That feel easy? Yep. Like now you can fit your whole wrench in there. One time. Tool abuse. Hmm, try that. It's probably gonna rip my finger off. But we'll see. Only hurts for a second. Mm -hmm. Finger is still intact. Okay. Okay, 
Oh, that'll be fine, yeah. It'll help you. Okay, ready? Whoop. You good? Two of these. They kept this thing very well lubed. Yeah, I don't think the greaser uh, was ever broken. I don't. Can you over grease equipment? I don't think so. Throw it down in the comments if you think you can actually over grease. Right. Yep. Is this one different size? Oh my god, yeah, it is. Inch and a half. That's cool. Aha! Uh -huh. Inch and five inches. Inch and a quarter. Inch and a half, three quarter drive. Find it? Does it fit? Sure does. Nice. My face full of shit now. <laughs> Residual splatter. Yes. Sweet. Okay, forklift time. Uh, Forky. Yeah. Oh, we need to get those caps. Huh? Yeah, we need to go check for caps and yeah, we I'll show you over here. Back in real quick. When we took these lines off, we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna cap these. These are O-ring face. We need to get some O-ring face caps. So when we fire this thing up, it doesn't spray hydraulic fluid everywhere. Hey, found some stuff. Okay. Is that 16? Looks like 16. 12, it says. Is that? That might be it. Yeah, that's one of them. That's a 10. Is that too small? I know. Uh, some of them are going to be that. And an 8. How many 8s? Uh, four, technically. Hey, there's another 10. And then 3. Well, let's go see what fits but and see what we're missing. Okay, so we do need another biggie. Okay. Okay. Oof. Oof. How can that be the wrong thread? You don't want a thread? Yeah, that does. Oh, it's, look how deep it this is. This is pipe thread. Oh, that's stupid. So technically, we need four of this size. Five of that size, two of that size and one more of the size. So we gotta go to the old uh, hardware store. Or do we just fire it up and lift up real fast? <laughs> okay, let's make some bad decisions. So we're gonna do the wrong thing here and fire the machine up and see if it sprays everywhere. Do you know exactly what levers are pulling to suck yeah. everything in? Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay, hold on. It only sprayed out of one hose, Quentin. And, okay. it, was the, and it was the big fitting, so okay. let me have... Let me have one of the big fittings. I'll tighten them on there. I gave them, they're on that, uh... there it is. Was she, was she pumping hard? Yeah, came out hot. But this may be the only supply line up here because it's the only one I've seen. Let me tighten that down real quick. All right, base, not that bad. Yeah. Okay, get a rip. small one now. Oh, that's good. Okay. I see what one it is though. One of these two. They're both squirting. Okay, we need to get some more in face fittings. Yep. Dang it. That's pretty good though. That's about a half gallon to figure out that we actually need a gas. <laughs> Not that bad. Half gallon. Yeah, it's way better than the nine or ten gallons I thought was coming out of there. Yeah? So yeah, so we're doing pretty good. updates we have all of the caps on here that we needed to put so all those o-ring face caps are installed we went and we fired the machine up we lifted uh, both of these 
lift cylinders up. We took the, uh, I think it's the angle cylinder is what they call it. Uh, that is moved, or articulation cylinder. That one's moved up, ready to go. I got those bolts all loosened on the front. We're gonna go ahead and get these blocked up now and take the forklift, lift up, and hopefully we're gonna pull this draw bar out in one, in one shot. That's the plan. not lift it well uh i mean i'll probably get ghetto with it and drive forward that's exactly what i was thinking block it drive it forward and then just crab walk it out of here because you can front and rear steer to the side mm -hmm. turn yourself that way and just freaking crab walk it forward and backwards and walk it away from it that's probably what we're gonna have to do we're gonna have to freaking block the front as best we can and just drive away from it Okay, so now since the forklift can't pick this thing up, our plan is we're gonna drive forward with this, have it fall off the front of the frame, and then I'll drag this thing back. We're off the ground enough. Tilt back. Are you far back as you can go? There you go. This side's off. Pick up just a little bit. Yeah, back up. You got it. It'll roll with you right now. Nope. Sorry. Up. Oh, shit. We need a block on this side or take this block out. Lower it down real quick. See if I can get this block out. There you go. Try that shit again. Tilt back towards you. Tilt back. They're off the ground. Let me 
move the grader forward? Yeah, you're you. Always good on that tire. Yeah, you're good. than I thought it was going to be. I can't believe that. So it's got to be over 20,000 pounds. That's a 20,000 pound forklift. And it just barely got it. Look at the grater. Chunking down. And the greatest part about it, we can, you can back, move it. We can just back it up. Back it up. Sweet. Well, while we reminisce about how great we are, we're going to go ahead and wrap this video up right here. As always, thank you for watching. If you liked what you saw, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments or concerns, throw it down there in the bleep blooper. And as always, if you wanna see more stuff like this, subscribe to our channel. I'll see you guys in the next one.